Today we are reading the book Recycle by Gail Gibbons. More and more garbage. Every day people throw more trash away. As the world population increases, more people throw more trash away. Garbage trucks come to pick it up, but where does all that trash go? Most of it is hauled away to sanitary landfills. A landfill is a place where garbage is dumped in heaps from garbage trucks. Some sanitary landfills are lined on the bottom with a layer of clay soil covered with plastic. The lining of clay and plastic keeps the leachate from leaking into the poisoning of soil. It also keeps leachate from getting into groundwater, which is often used for drinking water. A leachate is powerful substance that is produced when rotting gar garbage mixes with rainwater. Bulldozers push the garbage into neat piles. Then they cover it up with dirt so that it won't smell and so that animals and bugs will stay away. Most people don't want landfills near where they live. And besides, there is so much garbage now that, in many places, there isn't enough room to bury all of it. Where can it all go? One solution is to cut down on the amount of trash we make. We can do this by recycling some of our garbage to make it into new things. Recycling means reusing materials instead of throwing them away. Paper. It takes a lot of trees and energy to make paper. In fact, people in the United States cut down 850 million trees to make paper products each year. When the trees are cut down, they are turned into wood chips. The wood chips are mixed with chemicals and water to make pulp. The pulp is spread out on a moving screen to make a thin layer of fibers. When the layer of th fibers dries, it becomes paper. Newspapers, boxes, magazines, and many other things are made from paper. When these things are through being used, they shouldn't be thrown away. Recycle. Collect old newspapers and tie them up into bundles. Tie up old magazines too. Break down used boxes and tie them together. Most towns and cities have recycling centers where bundles of old paper can be dropped off. In some places, trash collectors pick up the bundles of paper and take them away for recycling. Bring the bundles to the recycling center. Or, if your city or town has a recycling pickup service, leave the bundles at the curbside, stacked neatly or placed in special containers provided. Old paper can be turned back into pulp and made into new recycled paper, using less energy than it takes to produce new paper from raw materials. Recycling paper saves trees and forests, which make oxygen and help keep the air clean. Saving forests protects the homes of many animals too. Glass. It takes lime, soda ash, and sand called silica to make glass. These three elements are mixed together and heated at a very high temperature to make a glassy liquid. Measured amounts, sometimes dyed, are dropped into forming machines where the liquid hardens to make bottles and jars. Many products come in glass bottles and jars. Sometimes, when they are through being used, they are just thrown away. It would take thousands of years for them to biodegrade at a landfill. Instead, these bottles and jars could be reused. Recycle. An object biodegrades when it is eaten away by the sun, the rain, and the wind, and microorganisms, which are very tiny animals and plants. It takes about 3,000 years for a glass bottle or jar to biodegrade at a landfill. But you can collect glass bottles and jars, rinse them out, and put them in a box or a bag. Many bottles are returnable. A small deposit is paid when the bottles are bought. When they are returned, the deposit is paid back. Most of the time, the bottles are sent back to the company that made them, where they are sterilized and refilled. Sometimes the bottles are recycled into new glass. First, you separate the deposit bottles from the other glass ones. 
Bring the deposit bottles to your store to collect your deposit. Bring the non-deposit bottles and glass jars to the recycling center. Or if your city or town has a recycling pickup service, leave the bottles and jars at the curbside placed in boxes or the special containers provided. It takes much, much less energy and creates less pollution to make new glass from old glass. The glass is crushed and remelted. Next, recycled liquid glass is poured into forming machines and stamped into new glass products. The sand, lime, and soda ash don't have to be dug again, which would waste precious natural resources and destroy forests and fields. Cans. Most cans are made from aluminum. It takes many energy resources and creates pollution to produce pure aluminum. First, a mineral called bauxite is mixed with soda ash and lime. When the mixture is put under pressure, aluminum is left as a byproduct. Then the aluminum is heated and poured into molds to make cans. Many products such as soda and foods are sold in aluminum cans. Often, when the cans are empty, they are just tossed away. It takes about 500 years for an aluminum can to biodegrade at a landfill. But these aluminum cans can be reused. Recycle. Collect cans, rinse them out, and put them in a box or a bag for recycling. Like glass bottles, many cans are returnable for a deposit refund. After the cans are returned, they are sent to plants to be ground into small metal chips. These chips are melted down and made into aluminum bars, which are pressed into thin sheets of recycled aluminum. Separate the deposit cans from the others. Bring the deposit cans back to your store to collect your deposit refund. Bring the non-deposit cans to the recycling center. Or if your city or town has a recycling pickup service, leave the cans at the curbside. Place in bags, boxes, or the special containers provided. The sheets are then sold to can makers to be made into new cans. It takes much less energy and makes much less pollution to make new aluminum from old aluminum. Natural resources such as bauxite, lime, and soda ash aren't taken from the earth to be used. Fields and forests are left alone. Plastic. Plastic bottles, plastic bags, plastic plates, plastic containers. Most plastic is made from molecules called polymers, which are derived from petroleum. The plastic is heated, sometimes dyed, and poured into molds. A big problem with plastic is that it doesn't biodegrade. It can last forever. Instead of being allowed to fill landfills, litter roadsides, and harm wildlife, plastic can be recycled and used again. Recycle. Collect and wash plastic bottles. Rinse out and reuse plastic products such as plastic bags, plates, spoons, and cups. You're recycling them by using them again. Pick up plastic litter when you see it. Like glass bottles in aluminum cans, some plastic bottles can be returned for a deposit refund. These bottles will be sent away to be recycled into new plastic products. First, separate the deposit bottles from the other ones. Bring the plastic deposit bottles to your store to collect your deposit. Bring the non-deposit bottles to a recycling center. Or if your city or town has a recycling pickup service, leave the bottles at the curbside placed in bags, boxes, or the special containers provided. First, the old plastic is cleaned. Then it is chopped up, melted down, and molded into new recycled products. Recycling plastic saves natural resources such as oil and prevents pollution caused by the manufacturing of plastic. Polystyrene. Many products are made from polystyrene, sometimes called styrofoam, such as cups, fast food packaging, and packing materials. Some polystyrene is made using gases called chlorofluorocarbons, also called CFCs. These chemicals are harmful to people and animals, 
When they are burned, they create poisonous gases and also harm the ozone layer surrounding our planet. The ozone layer is a shield of gases that surround the Earth and protects us from the sun's harmful rays. Unfortunately, it's cheaper to make new polystyrene than to recycle it. And there are few useful products that can be made from recycled polystyrene. Plus, polystyrene is not biodegradable. Like plastic, it can last forever. The more polystyrene that is used and thrown away, the more garbage will sit in landfills for years and years. So try not to buy or use polystyrene products. If you do buy polystyrene, recycle it. Polystyrene is dangerous to sea animals too. It floats on the water and sometimes looks like food. When sea animals try to eat it, their systems get clogged and often they starve to death. Pick up any polystyrene litter when you see it. If more and more people learn to recycle, there will be less garbage and our planet will be a safer and healthier place to live. Recycling can become a habit that is fun and easy. Recycle.